So anyways, uh, you basically just put this collar on. You see the little grooves up at the top? Yeah. You just wanna slide that on there. And there's two little notches down there at the bottom. You see those little notches yeah. right there on the broad head. You basically want those to fit in the collar. Let me see your arrow. How do I have it? And then you'll just screw it on. You don't want to be careful because these are super sharp. You want to get that tight, that way it doesn't come undone. Yeah. The tighter it is, the better chance these uh, broadheads won't come out of that collar. But once it hits the deer, it'll push both of these the blades will come out. So let's go ahead and get you set up for one more. I know you're not stupid, but don't cut yourself. Yeah. We're trying to kill a deer, not go to the hospital. And now put the collar on it. Make sure the, uh, the slots are going toward the top of the broad head. Turn it upright and just kind of fit those blades inside that, that collar. A little bit. And now you can screw there, screw it in there. Do you need these things? Yeah, let's go ahead and put a couple of those on. That's a good idea. Those are so nice because if they, uh, once you shoot at a deer, you can see exactly where you hit it. Luckily tonight, we'll be able to review the footage, you know, yeah, yeah. live it on camera, but uh, Just pop it yeah, go ahead and pop it out. But it's like watching a laser. Did I send you a picture of that crane? Uh, like the bird? Yeah. I, so. I caught him on camera standing over there in between that gap, the weirdest place in the world. Oh, gosh, he's, he's, been, he's been in my pond eating my fish. I put 20 goldfish in there. I caught a bass out of the creek and like five perch. He's eating my fish. So I guess good for him, but you know, it's probably gonna go dry anyways. I'll have to redo it this spring. Yeah. Gonna spray some some uh, doe estrus out. We've got south wind, which is blowing from right where the deer are gonna come from. I'm not really using it much to, I guess, draw a buck in more or less. I'm trying to mask our scent as much as we can, so we're gonna let the windows down. It is a little bit warm in here, even though it's like 55 degrees outside. Um, so we're gonna kind of cool the blind out, spray a little bit of that out, and uh, we've got the rattling antlers with us, so we'll try to do a little rattling. Spray it out the window. That's probably good.
the deer walked off and I forgot to press record. Come on, you little frickers. direction. So help me. Well guys, we had a close close call this evening. We had about five of them probably about 50 yards away from us on the other side of the screen from the food plot. I, I don't know what happened. I think they were bedded on the other side of the food plot. There's kind of some meadow grass and then there's that screen that splits me from that, uh, from where we're at here in the food. But they just got up, took off, and ran the opposite direction. And I know it wasn't us. We had the windows closed. We, we got an air scent free, I think. They might have just had a different agenda on their mind this evening, but uh, that'll do it for tonight. We're going to stay at it, and uh, hopefully soon, Scar will get a deer down.